Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Ugh! 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 Okay, uh, today we're going to open small things, it's small things on Cut the Tape, it's, it's things that are not large, they're small, small things, and then we have a comparison to do, we're going we're gonna to open small things, alright, first thing we're going to open, this is the Black Megatron Choro Q, this is from 2001. It's been a while. This has been sitting. It's been sitting. I found it in a box. It's been sitting. It's been sitting. So I have another one sealed. This one's all scuffed up. Because it's been sitting in a box. And I tend not to like the cute stuff. I consider this cute stuff. But uh, Choro Q... There was a couple of them. There was um, Megatron, Optimus, and Rodimus. And the insert for Optimus, I believe, became a paper trailer. There were two versions of each. There was a cartoon color. And then uh, for Optimus and Rodimus, there was like a chrome... Not quite chrome, but a, a shiny metallic finish. For Megatron, the shiny metallic finish is the black version. Here it is. Get out of here. Here it is. Little Choro Q. Super deformed Megatron. This was before... I mean, you're talking early 2000s, so 20 years ago. This was before there was a lot of really cute things in the brand. This was before the film, before the brand expansion. So anything like this was new and exciting at the time. The... Wow. Wow. So with the Choro Q guys, there's a pullback feature. You pull it back. You ever see, look, it's a gun that rolls at you. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Choro Q. And the, you know what? The plastic is quite brittle. I don't remember the other Megatron being like this. I think it might be the finish on it. Or the fact that it hasn't moved or transformed since it was put into the package. But here it is. Hey, a little Choro Q Megatron. There it is. All right. Here's, here's the regular Megatron. I'm going to recycle that box because that's good for the environment. Ah, all right. This is another one that's been sitting for a while. Device label, 2 gigabyte flash drive. Tigatron. They made a Ravage, or Ravage in the common tongue, version as well. Same tooling, black. They also made this thing right here. This is a mouse. Back a long time ago, you used to have to plug your mouse with a cord into your computer. I know it's weird, right? You had to do that. And they made uh, they made this weird looking mouse that turned into like a dinosaur and they made it in Grimlock colors and Trypticon colors. And it's just weird and bizarre. But this is the this is the top, you know, 2 gigabytes. That's pretty good for when when did this come out? This is um Gosh, 25th anniversary. So yeah, this is around early 2000s. 
but two gigabytes for early 2000. I remember these were pretty expensive at the time because it was two gigabytes. I mean, now two gigabytes is like nothing. I've got two gigabytes worth of pictures of my kids on my phone. Let's see what's inside. There's some paperwork. It's in Japanese. I don't read Japanese. This is interesting. I'm sure there's like some warranty stuff, how to use it with your computer, maybe how to format it. Comes with instructions. Transformers device labor, operating USB memory. You know, I bet, you know what I'm gonna do? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some pictures of my kids, some pictures I already have. I'm gonna load it up on this thing, and then I'm gonna put it in a time capsule for them. You know what, that's a good idea. I'm gonna make a time capsule for my kids. It's, um, you know, I'm 41 now, and it's weird. I'll put that to the side. It's, uh, you know, my dad died at 48, and I have a countdown on my phone until I'm 49. That's macabre, I know. But nothing makes you realize your mortality more than having kids. Now, let's see here. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what? This could even be um, Shattered Glass Ravage. Hi! Hi! This could be Shattered Glass Ravage. Speaking of jerks, you know that Toy Hunter guy? Taylor? Tyler? God, what a... Ah. You try to help someone, you give them information that they need so they can become a better dealer, and they just, they just crap all over you. Anyway... Enough about people that don't matter. I want to see if it looks like there's a hinge here for the mouth to open. And it... Oh, look at that! Little mouth opens! So you know what? You know, here's the thing with doing a time capsule. What if by the time they dig this up, or they find it, wherever I hide it, there's uh, no more USBs. Everything's through the cloud. What, what do I do then? Interesting. I, uh, you know what? I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna put some, some pictures of my kids on here. Look, there's a little... I'm gonna put some pictures of my kids on here. And I'm gonna hide this somewhere and then they'll have it whenever whenever the time is that they need it they'll have it that's it's a little emotional here a little a little emotional cut the tape here remember to always recycle this is all recyclable that's recyclable a lot of people would think oh like you can't recycle plastic bags take them to the supermarket Supermarket recycles them. All right, so this is another oldie. This is a Rescue Bots Transformers Potato Head Mixable Mashable Heroes. I don't think it's mashable though. So there's Optimus Starscream. In the larger sizes, they made uh, an Optimus. Uh, I think there's a Grimlock version and a slightly. In the standard potato head size, there's an Optimus. In the larger one, there is a Grimlock, uh, which did not come on a hang tag, but it looks like it, it should. So we have Optimus and we have Starscream. And, um, you know, everybody opens Optimus. Let's give Starscream some love today. So we can mix the two to make something new. You can be as Starscream as Optimus Prime, or as Starscream plus Optimus Prime 
equals Screamin' Must Star Prime. When is this? I just want to say when, uh, when this is 2013. Ooh. I got a whole bunch of stuff that's just waiting for me to open. 2000, everything today is vintage. I mean, sort of. I mean, depending on what you consider vintage, but... You know, another thing you can do with these um, is you can use them as a center display. So if you have, say, a display shelf and you have a bunch of figures you're going to put in front and you want some figures in the back, you can stack... You can put this and stack some figures in the back so it elevates them. I tend to use uh, more sturdy items, um, but hey, this is, I mean, it's free, it's here. Now, having worked at Hasbro, potato heads are all around. They give you a, a little Mr. Potato Head when you start at the company. And I have mine somewhere. I never opened it. I know my kids have some potato head stuff, but I don't remember them being this soft. Um, it's a very soft plastic. This is a hard plastic. It's got wheels on it, so it can roll. So we have our star screen. And this almost looks like you can take a chicken nugget and put it in here, like, like the Fry Kids. From back in the day. I'm, an, I'm aging myself right now. Headmaster Don knows what I'm talking about. Alright, let's see here. Can we take this? Oh, okay, there you go. So there's the little Mr. Potato Head. All right, now we're going to put him in the Starscream vehicle. So now he's he's flying Starscream. Right? He's like, yeah, look at me! And then we're going to put them back. Oh, look. So that comes off, too. All right. So, obviously, you can't have all the pieces together at the same time. And there's no place to hide the other pieces. But this is a, this is a cool little thing that Hasbro can do where they don't have to pay for any licensed stuff. Uh, it almost looks like it's 5 millimeter. It's slightly larger than 5 millimeter. Yeah, it's a little, it's like six millimeter. So where do I, you know, so I guess you have, you have it like that next to each other. Hey, I'm Starscream and I want to usurp Megatron and put in my own rule, but I don't have a plan yet. And I haven't shown anyone my plan, but I've got a great plan. I got the best plans, but I just, I just haven't shown you my plans yet. But I got the best plans because I'm Starscream. Let's open the Optimus. Uh, you know what? I'm critical error. Always cut towards your enemies. Never cut towards yourself. Critical error. All right, that's for recycling. That's for recycling. Yeah, take it all out. Ah! All right, there's another little stand, you know. I think I'll use that just because I mentioned it. Hey, if you if you want this, if you want me to send this to you, email me at cutthetape at tfdoctalk.net, and I will mail this to you. Um, shipping and handling charges may apply. But I, I'll mail that to you if you want it. All right, so... I mean, they're both what we would call super deformed... But they're very clearly uh, based off the G1 aesthetic. And it's very clear that the silhouettes match the characters. I mean, Starscream with the color and the wings. Optimus has that unique head. No matter what color you make them, it's that head that just sticks out. Let's see. It's the same potato head character. And now he's a truck. Hey, look at me. I'm a truck. Hey, I'm a truck over here. I'm Optimus Prime. I'm Sputimus Prime. 
How come how come they weren't called Sputamus or Mashimus Prime? Right? And notice there's no blasters or axe. That's okay. This is aimed at a younger audience. And you know what? It's aimed for a younger audience, but that's cool. I like it. I wish there was a way to click these together. All right. So it's a, this is the follow-up. Get out of here. This is the follow-up to last week. Last week, I opened up the Evergreen Transformers, right? So here's the large... I didn't open this one on, on the show. Here's the large Bumblebee. Uh, I think this one's usually around... 10 bucks at the dollar store or eight bucks at the dollar store. Not everything at the dollar store is a dollar. And I think that's why the Europeans hate us so much. But I wanted to compare it to this. This is the evergreen bumblebee that is at Walgreens. I think these ones are 12, maybe even 16 bucks. So as I say, if, if you care about keeping the box, in this case, I don't because I have another one sealed. Take your blade, stick it in, open it. That way, you can avoid this. When we were kids, we would do this, and it would create a, a little crease right there, right? All right, so big difference already. Um, this is more generic... Um, brand, not, not brand specific, not like movie specific, Prime, uh, R.I.D. This is just like, this is a generic interpretation of Bumblebee. This too is a generic interpretation, but based, based off the film. It's not part of the film. All film toys have the film... Uh, logos, which are slightly different, slightly different for the Autobot that's right up here. Let's see. That's interesting. So they, they put it through the cardboard and then there's a piece of plastic here that holds. Interesting. So can you do that? Probably come out. There we go. And recycle this. So we talked a little bit about articulation with these big ones. So right off the bat, I'll tell you, I think some of these are also available at like Walgreens. Uh, some of these show up at like TJ Maxx, Ross. This, this feels like a cheaper plastic. This feels like, okay, this is for a much, I don't want to say cheaper. This is for a reduced price point, right? At your dollar stores. This is for Walgreens. You're coming in to get a prescription or just running in to get some milk or something. And the kid says, hey, I want a toy. Uh, so this has... You know, for all the articulation this has, it's got the hips, arms, shoulders, the head moves. There's no knees, which is uh, just a little weird. I would have expected that there would have been some knee articulation on this guy. So as we said earlier, this one is heavily based on the film. It's a simple transformation. The plastic is much sturdier, uh, although it's that plastic that if you drop this, it does feel like it will shatter and leave you with like a jagged edge. And look, it matches. This is my bumblebee cutter. Bumble cutter. Bumble cutter. That's what we're calling that. That cheaper plastic always seems to have that little sparkly effect on it. It's a little hard to see on film. So this one, that's it. That's how, the, that's how this transforms. So this one, 
totally generic. It's a coupe. I guess this one's also a coupe. Although Mustangs do have back seats, I don't know. Um, I think Camaros have back seats too. Anyway, here they are. I just wanted to compare the two. I've never opened one of these before. Last week was the first time I opened one of these. So there you go. This is the one. I had made a mistake last week. I said I took the Evergreen Shockwave and used it on my generation shelf because the robot mode is very, very G1. That was not this Evergreen. That was this one, the one I got at. The Shockwave I got at Walgreens was the one that's on my generation shelf. But now we have Galaxy Man, so it's like, eh. Do you Evergreen One still has a better robot mode? It's more animation accurate. All right, there we go. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but these actually work together. You can put the Megatron here, and then in the fiction, you put the Optimus here on the hood, and um, they recreate. Uh, this is part of the Fast and Furious crossover. See, go. <laughs> See? But he's okay no matter what happens in those movies. Dom Toretto is always okay. It's crazy. All right, that's cut the tape. Hey, wash your hands, wear a mask, be kind to each other, help people when you can, and just try to bit live the best life you can. Be kind to yourself as well. All right, thank you for watching Cut the Tape. If, if you want this, again, email me at, at cutthetapeattftalk.net. I'll, I'll send this to you, all right? I'll send this to you. All right, let me know, and um, next time I'll, I'll let you know who got this. All right, peace.